Hey folks, welcome to Board with Paint. Today we're going to be doing something a little different from usual. I'm not going to be painting anything for you today. I'm actually a software engineer by trade, so I dabble here and there on side projects. And one of these I'd like to share with you. I put together an app to run your combat encounters in Divinity Original Sin, the board game. If you want to check this out, you can go over to my website here, boardwithpaint.com. And if you scroll down to the bottom, I have this Divine Helper link here. You click this link, it'll take you there. You can also get there if you go to divinehelper.boardwithpaint.com. And I just want to show you a quick demo of how this works. So we start off, we have the uh, fast and slow initiative sections, and we have an addition button over here if you want to add minions. A full screen button here if you want to go full screen. The reset will get rid of anything that's on the screen, and I can show you how the remove minions works in a little bit. Let's say we are doing a scenario and we have a couple of enemies come out. So I'll click this uh, plus over here. Let's say we're going to face a uh, Magister something. So I can actually, you can scroll around and find the enemy you want, or you can type in and it will autocomplete and filter out the ones that, that don't match. So this has all of the enemies from the game and you can choose either the regular or the veteran version of them. So let's say we are going to face a Magister Guard. You can select the letter of the standee that you want to use to represent that on the board. So let's say this Magister Guard is going to be A. We'll click it and it adds him over here. And if, let's say we let's say we also have a veteran Magister Guard. We'll put him at B. Say done. So we have the two guys here. See, they have their hit points in place. Standy indicated. Uh, let's add one more down here at the bottom. Let's add, scroll around and find something fun. Um, let's go with the Shambling Vegetal. We'll put him on F. So you can see here we have, uh, so we have the slow enemy, the Vegetal. We have the Magister and Veteran Magister Guards. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can track hit points. So you can use the plus and minus buttons here to adjust hit points. And I gave you a little health bar here so you get a visual indication of what's going on there. We have a section here for cooldowns. You have three turns, two turns, one turn. Click anywhere in there, it's going to bring up this window that will let you select which effects are going to be applied to which turns. So let's say he got hit with something and it's going to poison him for three turns and maybe he's going to burn for two turns. Maybe he's going to bleed for two turns. And we can just click off of there and those effects are in place. Now maybe we'll go over to this guy and we'll say he's stunned for one turn. So you can see the states of all of your minions. Um, you can click this advance button and it will move all of the effects down and anything on turn one gets popped off when you click that button. Let me add a, a few more of these effects here. If you click on the card, you'll get a full screen view of the entire card so you can see it better. And it also gives you the explanation of what these effects do. Then you can click anywhere else and it'll take you back. So this works on everything. You know, you can set this up however you want. Now, if say you kill a minion, you want to remove them, you click this remove minions and you go into a removal mode where you can just click up here. Click the the minion that you want to remove. And then when you're done, click there again, and you're back to this mode. You can also click reset, which will clear off the screen for you. So it'll get rid of all the minions. So I just wanted to share that with you all today. 
Feel free to go to the site and use this as much as you like. I am in the process of uh, creating a version for Android, and I may do an iOS version as well. So be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, I hope you find this helpful. If you did, like and subscribe. And until next time, happy painting.